And so then how far down the rabbit hole did you end up going? Did you get those light switches automated in the end? No, I'm still renting. I am always very thinking about the cost and the, um, yeah, the return yeah. of investment, I say. Absolutely. For the vacuums, I think it's a no-brainer because you save time. You don't do anything. The house is yeah. always clean. You're not arguing about whose turn it is, whatever. For lights, I still don't get it that much. But for other things, now I have evolve my vacuums to be also doing uh, the floors. I have one of these which have like mops on them. That's another step up. Yeah, um, that's for me the most important part. But um, the other things I have done, which has escalated a bit, was a cat doorbell. So we have a cat. Doorbell? Yes. Okay, yeah. We have window. We have, our doors ha are just basically windows. And I can't, since I'm renting, I just can't do a cat flap. And uh, I just have bought myself a pressure mat. Got one of those Akara... What's it called? The water leak detection sensor. The flood sensor. sensor, yeah. 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 Connected the mat to it, and it's a Boolean when the cat sits on the mat. Some light will flash on the window just to give her feedback. And also the living room lights will also flash, and we get a notification on our phone that she wants to go inside. That's cool. How long did it take you to train that cat? It was very fast because she's always sitting there anyways. Anyways. And just, if you have problems with that, treats. Treats are easy. Yeah.